and usually I was telling them that uh, we have to be serious about this corona thing, Dr. Ari. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, sometimes you have to let the people know that we, the, the, the thing is serious. Yeah? Yeah. But you cannot take it as any... Yes, you have to take it seriously. Yeah? Uh, good afternoon. Sorry, good morning. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow Kenyans. It is yet another very sad day that uh, I stand before you to give you this uh, daily briefings on coronavirus. Kenyans, we have requested you to take personal responsibility and some of us clearly do not understand the intensity and seriousness of this epidemic or pandemic. When we ask you, fellow Kenyans and brothers and sisters, to take personal responsibility, social distancing, wash your hands, and quarantine, especially self quarantine or whatever it, it is called. And today I want to give you a very specific case or example. We had a patient who arrived in the country on the 8th of March at 9.30. The patient's name is Kevin Otieno Onyago Oro. Kevin traveled from uh, America, United States, Dallas, Texas, through Radan, through Djibouti, through Guinea-Bissau, and finally to JKIA in Nairobi. And as we have told you, similarly, that when you are asked by health officials to self-quarantine, you need to take it seriously. In 48 hours, we managed to track Kevin Otieno Oro's contacts. And ladies and gentlemen, they are all here. Kevin Otieno left JKIA at 11.43. By almost noon, let me say 12.01, Kevin was in Don home at uh, the first contact, Grace Wajohi Mubi. At by 12.46, Kevin was in Rogai. At the uh, third, uh, second contact, Miriam Atieno Achien. On the same day, at around 3.34, Kevin was seen in, in, uh, sorry, in Kitegera of Kajiado. Uh, between uh, that 4.34 and the 5.26, we lost him in our radar. But Kevin then appears again at dawn home, where he spent the night, uh, I think, because of the curfew. Kevin spent at Miriam, uh, Miriam, sorry, Mary, Mary Kwaboka's house in dawn home. We have reached over 26 contacts of Kevin. And I want to tell you, Kenyans, that uh, the wife is here, Priscilla Otieno. Unfortunately, the wife has tested negative because Kevin had not reached home. What are we trying to say? When we ask you to serve quarantine, we expect you to be responsible enough to do it on your own without government supervision. And Kevin is here with us today. Fortunately, all our contacts are negative. Kevin himself is negative after 14 days. But how, for lack of a better word, how the hell did this particular patient in 48, sorry, in, in actually less than 48 hours, to be specific, in 41 hours, managed to be in Rogai, Kitegera, Don Home, Buru Buru, Umoja Phase 1, and 2, Afe River, Mashakos, Naata Jafika Nyuban. Daktari. And Kenyans must be serious about this issue. We must take this issue as serious as the government is trying to tell us to take it. Kevin, were well, these all the people that you contacted? Dr. Ali. 
Tuko wakapi? Ijua chua. Okay, so I'll pass this answer. As I'm being informed here, that uh, we have uh, 26 contacts here. Uh, Daktari is telling me that uh, we are, there are other uh, 13 more. And of course, you can imagine or you can guess for yourselves what gender the other contacts who are not here with us are. Ah, the reason they are not here is because most of them are, were contacted in the 48 hours by Kevin. But they are not here because they are traveling. Uh, three of them from Nakuru County, two of them from Mobasa, and the rest are traveling from Western Kenya. And remember, these are also contacts of Kevin within the 48 hours. They should be here anytime between today and tomorrow, and we shall therefore uh, move uh, along to quarantine them. Yeah, so I will take two questions, and uh, then uh, we will call it a day. Yes. Mashiri Makawiski here from... Uh, what is your name? Mashiri Makawiski. Mashiri Makawiski. K25 News. K25. Uh, I wanted to find out about uh, the implications of the distribution of the disease and organisms of the problem that is happening with the pandemic. That is All right. How wrong. All right. Uh, that... Uh, Obviously, it's a very technical and medical issue that Dr. Wajau would, uh, of course, after I finish, would come and address that question. And the question, of course, is what are the, some of the implications of the dedication of the viral anticipations equity. And the, we have also the PS who would be able to see what they can do about that. Any other question? Yes. yes. Kenyans are demanding for lockdown. When do you think you'll be able to give us this? Story? This issue of lockdown, lockdown here, lockdown there. And Kenyans have been demanding the government to give them a lockdown, Daktari. Yeah? And I've seen it on the what is up. I've seen it on the internet of this world. Or the Twitters. But the response of the government is one. The government is asking the Kenyans on the issue of lockdown that they want. One question. And this question was asked to one great philosopher, Major General Okonko, who was asked by one feminist. And the question was, Nikikupea Utawezana. And that is what the government is asking you today. To kiwapea lockdown. To kiwapea Mutawezana. If you can therefore answer that question, then we can talk about lockdown. I think that is uh, about it. We will see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, stay safe. Clean your hands. And uh, let us stay indoors. Uh, Kevin. Uh, Patricia. Tafadari. Kevin. Stay at home. Please make sure he stays at home. And quarantine him. Sawa. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. That is a hero. He stayed at night. I'm telling you, when you are in guy in 30 minutes. next destination. By 10 45, I require guy. Machine. To Kim Shika, the Kosha Pika, the Kwaki Tegara, the Kim Shika, the Kosha. I can go on a woman of a kid. I can't go on a woman of a kid. I can't go on a woman of a kid. I can't go on a woman of a kid. I can't